Good afternoon. It's Monday and it's Acoustic Paradiso here on Anderton's TV. I'm Ben and today we're going to be talking about this, which is the new Acoustic Core 30 from Blackstar. It's got a few um, interesting features on it that I've not seen on, on any other acoustic amp. So let's go through it. On the outside, it looks like a fairly standard acoustic guitar and vocal you know, instrument amplifier. You've got two channels. So we'll start with the instrument channel here. As standard, it's got gain, you know, that sets your level. Everyone knows what gain does, I think. Got the low EQ sweep, so I'll bring that in on a chord here. So that's pretty good. It's not, uh, doesn't kind of overdo it. It's a very usable sweep on there. The high frequency, we'll do the same thing. I'll turn it all the way off. Oh yeah, so you can have go from not enough to too much, which is exactly what you want from a tone control, really. And now the chorus, the vintage, I think is, well, let's, let's have a listen. Okay, so I'm gonna put that kind of halfway up the vintage control. Subtle, you know, but I think if you're gonna use chorus on an acoustic amp, you probably don't want it to be that subtle, do you? In which case, switch it to the wide. Let's have a listen to that, so. It's a very use, you know, usable chorus, if you wanna use chorus. So here we have the enhance button. There we go, that's out, this is in. I think it, it, it sounds like it does something to the EQ, but also like it's doing something to try and spread the sound a bit more, which, um, and I think it generally, it generally, I leave it in, if that, if that counts for anything. Put the chorus in, so this is maximum chorus on here. So there we go, if you want your acoustic guitar to sound like the 1980s, you got it. Uh, I'm going to turn the chorus off. I'm going to the reverb. So this is the room reverb. There's two reverbs on each channel, both of which are room and hall. So this is the top of the room reverb. Take the highs down a bit. Yeah, good reverb, you know, I mean, that's good. The hall, I think, is my favorite of the two. Probably a bit too much on there, but I think it's, for me, for my personal taste, it's nice. Uh, and the hall is big enough if you're kind of doing some kind of ambient, loopy things. You can get some nice, the, the tail on it is long enough that it, it carries on and creates a nice noise. Okay, I'm gonna switch over to try the uh, line and mic channel. Before I do, I should just mention the guitar I'm playing. This is a Sigma DA, SG7 Plus. Um, it's got some obvious influences as to its design, but you know, it's a, it's a nice guitar. It's got a Fishman pickup. So it's a fairly, you know, standard electroacoustic guitar that you might want to use with this kind of amplifier. Uh, so here we go. Let's listen to the mic and line channel. I should mention that um, what you're hearing is a mixture of a microphone in the room as well as the DI'd output on the amp. So. There you go, that's what that is. So <laughs> let's listen to this. I'll get a level. Now, because this, uh, this is the microphone channel, so this is really designed for vocals, um, but it's got a three band EQ rather than two band EQ. So let's look at that and then we'll look at what the vocal clarity button does. So low frequency. Again. It's, you know, it does, it does what you want. The mid range. Now that's actually really useful. And, and I kind of wish, I kind of wish that that was on the instrument channel too, really, because uh, particularly for guitars, I find mid range is, is ideally where you want to have the most available adjustment because that's where the guitar, you know, speaks. And so, yeah, the mid range on here. That's a useful, that's a very useful control actually. Yeah, 
Yeah, good. Uh, high frequency, again, I think it does too much down to too little, which is exactly what you want. Reverbs are the same, you've got room and hall, so I'm gonna go straight to the hall. Good. Tons of reverb, uh, which, is, which is wonderful. You've also got a phase switch here, which is really useful to help you know, avoid feedback problems and things. Let's listen, I'll turn the reverb down a touch. See what the vocal clarity control does to the uh, to the sound of the guitar, shall we? So this is without the vocal clarity controlled in. I'm going to put the vocal clarity button in now. doesn't do much really on a guitar does it but it's uh, I have tried it on a microphone and on a mic it, it does make a subtle yet kind of noticeable improvement I would say then we get over to this this part and this is where Blackstar are really trying to um, push the new features on this amp because this is an amplifier that's designed to be used for live streaming um, something that we're all doing a lot more of now we can't really go out and play real gigs and so over here next to the foot switch um, socket which I think you can buy an external foot switch which just switches reverb and chorus on and off if you want to do that you've got a standard kind of line out and headphone out jack but underneath here you've got a line in and streaming mini jack um, the manual doesn't actually give you an awful lot of information about what that's for but I spoke to Blackstar and you need um, a three pole jack so a TRRS jack and then you can take that and plug it into your phone if you're using iPhone you need to get an adapter but you can plug it into an Android phone which is what I did and it will give you a stereo mix of your amplifier straight into your phone which you can then stream so that you don't have to use the internal microphones on the camera and the reason you need a three pole cable is so that you can also get a line input back to the amplifier so you can hear uh, playback if you're kind of doing a pre-recorded stream it's a clever idea. It's also got the USB output, which is a four channel kind of interface if you want to use recording, uh, which gives you a kind of a choice between um, a stereo mix of the two channels with all the effects and stuff, or you can take um, a dry feed from either of the channels. On the back, we've got this DI output and the power input. Uh, it's got a, an external power supply, which is you know kind of standard on amps this size, I think. Um, the balanced output is there, it's on an XLR, there's no option for a jack or anything, and there's no um, kind of, you can't fiddle with it at all. You get what you get out the back, but it's a, it's a mixed DI output and that's what you're hearing now. There are a few extras that you could use with this amplifier. It has already underneath here, I'm just gonna tip it back, for kind of live gigs and things. You've got a screw out adjustment stand. So you can get a bit of an angle on it, which is useful. If you want to put it on a proper speaker stand, you can use this little adapter, which is an extra, I think it's 10 quid for this. So you can use it, and it just goes on the top of a standard speaker stand. Also, if you want to go out busking or play somewhere where you don't have access to power, you can use this. It's a power bank that will give you, I think they say up to kind of five or six hours of playing time through the amp once it's fully charged. And it also has a couple of USB outs and a torch, if I can turn it on, which I can, now I can't see anything. Um, it's a good idea, it's 60 quid for the power bank, which does bump up the price of the amp quite a lot, because this amp is only listed at 199. So it's, you know, it's there as an option if you want to go and busk with it. It's pretty good, but it doesn't attach anyway. It comes with, ships with a bit of Velcro, so you can stick it to the back if you want. So, um, so there we go, that is the Acoustic Core 30. It's 199 pounds, as I say. It's, it's a good little acoustic amp. Um, and the streaming stuff, I'm sure, will be very useful for people who are doing a lot of streaming gigs, but don't want to have to go through the extra hassle of setting up a, you know, a mixer and an interface or anything like that. So there we go, that is the new Blackstar Acoustic Core 30. Um, uh, don't forget to click like and subscribe and leave some comments below. If you've got any thoughts about it, I'm gonna, I'm gonna play out now. I'm gonna use some of the extra wide chorus 
the enhance button is in and I'm going to use this uh, the new Boss RC500 which I've been trying to get to grips with. All right, see you next time.